Let's go ahead and start off with our rain concentration for the next seven days. We're going to be paying close attention down in Florida, where they're actually expecting some tropical development. And in its wake, we are going to be watching for pretty impressive rainfall amounts over the next week. So that's something we're going to keep obviously close in mind. And you got to remember down there, they're still technically underneath a drought. So some of the land is fairly hard for even Florida standards. We are going to be watching for some isolated flooding that is going to actually be associated with that very heavy rainfall. And also we're keeping an eye on the upper plains and Great Lake states, Minnesota and Wisconsin, getting in on a good slug of moisture that will be coming off a low pressure system. It'll kind of be riding a ridge that's pretty much set up over the Midwest and the East Coast, dumping out a good amount of water and actually keeping another eye. So keeping three highs now if you're keeping count uh, down in the four corner states where we're watching monsoonal rains moving in from Mexico and actually going up to portions of Arizona. Here's our radar image for the rest of the day and going all the way through July 4th weekend. We can see all of that moisture being invected up from the Gulf and from portions of Mexico into Texas and parts of Oklahoma. And we're going to be watching those for monsoonal purposes. Of course, there's that big ridge that's starting to set up in the middle portion of the country, shooting the jet stream all the way up, blocking off some rain chances for some, but really ushering in a lot for others. There's that trough that's going to squeeze out some moisture going into the weekend. So it's looking like some you're going to have a really hot and humid 4th in July. And for others, it looks like it's going to be fairly arid. Silver Creek, Kansas, 86 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. Gold Creek, Idaho, 77 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. Finally, Cooper Creek, Copper Creek, excuse me there, Arizona, 88 degrees and a low of 70 degrees.